regarding the banks, uh, which are very critical um, sector of our industry, they're also encouraged to open as um, many of their branches that they feel it's possible operationally between the hours of three of nine and um, and um, three p.m. and but they certainly must make sure that they keep to the distancing in their um, in their branches and ensure, like we did mention, regular cleaning of their ATM machine because that is one of the things that the general public get to use uh, continually regular cleaning of their ATM machine to see how they disinfect the ATM machine regularly um, on a daily basis um, so that people can um, rest assured that each time they go to the machine, they, they, they are fit and proper for, for usage. All manufacturing and construction companies, they also can open between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. We've given them that long time because of the kind of work they do, right? And um, if anybody needs to get exemption, they can only be given exemption from the Lagos State um, Government. The market and the open stores. I had mentioned that they will be allowed to open from the, the hours of 9 a.m. to 3 a.m. But the alteration we are making to that now is that the markets are going to be opening on alternate days. And what do I mean? All the food markets food market and stores will be permitted to only open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'll repeat, food markets will be open only on Tuesdays, on Thursdays, and Saturdays from the hours of 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. However, other markets that are selling building materials, spare parts, non-food markets will be open on Mondays, on Wednesdays, and Fridays. All other non-food markets will be open only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I hope that this directive will be strictly adhered to. This is also an attempt for people not to rush out. This is also a, a case that we want to really, really slow down how people get into the activity you know, of the economy. For eateries and restaurants, and we've said that it's only take away and order. There are no seat in dining in any of these restaurants or eateries. So they can open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. The 7 p.m. because they've assured us that they also can provide means of transportation and accommodation for their staff. So for eateries, for restaurants who are strictly doing takeaways and order, because of the Ramadan period we are in, we want to give that waiver for them to still be open till 7 p.m. so that people can still make their, their, their uh, breaking of fast order from them. The private sector and the companies can open, like we did mention, with a graduated number, a maximum of 60% of their total capacity. A maximum of 60% is what is agreed for them. And it's strictly between the hours of 9 a.m and 3 a.m. as we have said. We will continue to encourage people to work from home and people to have flexible working hours. Um, like, like we've said, and we'll continue to say that uh, if you don't need to tr come out, you don't have to. And I'm sure that the private sector people, the private sector companies will cooperate with us with this. As much as possible, we also want them to make arrangements for the transportation of their staff as much as it's, it's feasible, so that they can be clearly be assured of the status and the, the, the health situation of their staff.